Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our blind let's play of the Outer Worlds and today we are going to do the quest Die Robot and I've already made my way over to the area we need to be at just to help us out a little bit I'm not sure what all we're going to have to do for this one but Hopefully it'll be interesting. Not been back here before. Kind of the back side of Edgewater. Oh, we got a box over here. So I think that's all he needed us to do. At least for the minute. We need to go back and check with him and see if there's anything else to this quest before we move on to our main quest on getting our power regulator so we can get off the planet. All right, so let's hurry up and run all the way back over to the guy by the landing pad, I think they called it, heliport, spaceport, whatever it is. Ooh. I wonder if we can go down there. Ooh. I'm ready for this. And I gave Parvati a new weapon. We got a um wow. Not even a scratch. Oh, it's a new uh like a sword kind of thing that she just had out. She seems to like it. It was it did um, more damage than her super sledge did. I wonder if there's anything up here. Probably not, but I wanted to check anyways. Nope, just a little dead end. Ah oh, well. Wow, this world is so pretty. I love how you can see the ships uh, flying in the sky. All right, whoop. Oh, there was somebody here. A little marauder. Huh. All right, well, let's go tell him the good news. And we will move on. I wanted to put my weapon away. I swear. Alright, dude. We did good things. If you'd stop walking long enough for me to talk to you. Bring us on here, soldier. Okay, you don't need to worry about that scout anymore. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out of its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. <laughs> You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. You hid your secret weapon in a lavatory? Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. No, well, I'll let you know if I find it. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a lock. I uh, got a question for you. Go on. What do you have against mechanicals? You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you. Scanning you with its murderous oculus. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, 
They will take away our very lives. Okay, I'll leave you be. So he hid it in the laboratory. Well, let's go and find it. Alrighty, let's keep moving here. Let's see, we need to go over here. Oh, it must be in the cantina. Interesting. Really? Yeah, looks like it's in the cantina. You're not a big drinker, are you? Ooh, so we're, ah, right here. Ah, okay. We can pick it up. And now we just need to return to him. All right, well, we'll take out the side door here. That seems to be the quickest way to get to him. Put your gun away, silly. All right, dude, I have found your weapon. All right, you need to stop walking now. Bring us honor, soldier. Yes, I found that package you mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Fun? This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. I've come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Oh, don't worry about that. I've already got a passcode from him. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. And how am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its ports. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Uh, Parvati, is a logic module something you can help with? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. Mmm. I'll make sure I keep an eye on her. And just what are you planning? Don't tell anyone, alright? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Really? Edgewater is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think you have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. <laughs> all right, well, it seems simple enough. If you die horribly... I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Oh, well, thank you. I'll let you be now. All right. Well, it looks like we need to head to the geothermal plant. And I believe that's where we need to go for our main quest, too. But, hmm. We should probably go and talk with um, Adelaide first. Yeah, Reed asked us to deliver a message to a woman named Adelaide before we head to the geothermal plant. So let's go 
do that and she seems to be over in that direction as well anyway so whoop, we'll head over that way and see what we can do now hopefully we can figure out a solution that is beneficial to both the town and the so-called deserters I'd hate to cut one or the other off. It just seems awful cruel. And I try not to be too cruel. Whoop. Oh, wrong button to jump. Gravy. I used to skip rocks in the river till Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed tailor for him. <laughs> I bet she was jealous. She don't know how to skip rocks or insects. Yeah, huh? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. I don't make a habit of imbibing. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Mostly they're tired. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Or they stumble into the alley and listen to their hearts breaking. Are you safe living across from that place? There's been scary nights. But Constable Reyes is right up the road. She keeps an orderly town. Ah, well that's good to know. Alright. She seems a little... Sheltered? I think is the word I'm looking for for her. I like her though. Whoa, no, no, no. Oh my goodness. Where did you guys come from? Oh yeah. I keep forgetting I put a scoop on it. No, 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 no. Switch your weapon. remember how to dodge. <laughs> oh no, ow! Oh, we need a little bit of healing here. Oh, these little flowers are getting in my way. Ow, quit that, dude. Throwing rocks is bad. Man, these things weren't here before. Ow. Goodness. Where did they come from? They definitely were not here before. See, I think I killed a bunch of them here. Uh, you okay, Parvardi? I am sorry, I wasn't expecting all that. We looked at you, we looked at you. I know we killed more than that. I think she may have got one somewhere too. Holy heck. Alright, well we are all loaded up again. So we can continue on our way. That was just some crazy stuff. I wonder what's up there. Huh. Is there like a underground building or something? Did we check that out? I don't remember if we did. Such a pretty countryside. Now do we need to kill the robots here? Uh, probably, yeah. Whoa. Well. Let's see if we can get a good, uh, view on some of these. There's something back there. Can I get up on the rocks? 
Oh, there we go. Ooh, that helped. Are we good? Alright, let's see if we can find another entrance in. There has to be a way in here. That isn't through there. Did we get them? I think we got them all. I'm not seeing any. Ah, here we go. Oh, I see you. Here we go. Unexpected noise. I meant to. We made it. Are we good? I think we're good. Not sure how we are going to get this piece that this guy needs off of one of these robots. Probably shouldn't just straight up take them all out. It's probably not going to give us whatever it is we need. It's just a pneumatic piston. Uh, let's see, can I get in there? Not from there, I'm not going to. Whoa, almost had it. There we go. Oh, I see what they're, how they had us coming in. Little bypass shunt. Ooh, nice. Easy. Plasma cutter, that's what I gave her. They were a corporal commander, dead scientists. I hear something. Not sure where it's at. I think you're. Nope. Yeah, you were already gone. What's in here? Spacer's Choice Guard. I wonder who took the guards out. Light Assault Rifles. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to open that? Not sure if I do. I'll oh, can we turn the power off? No. Maybe the terminal controls that. I thought I saw something else back here. Yeah, I looked at you. Could have swore I saw a container. Another guard. Looks like there was a bit of a battle between these guys. I think we took somebody out over here as well. Yeah, we did. Alright, cool. Looks like we can go in that way. Let's check over here. I think we can go in this way as well. So let's do that. Let's, um... Alright, wait a minute. Before we go in, we actually do not need to be here yet. We need to go and find Abigail. Because if I go in there, I'm going to fail the quest to go and talk with her. So, we need to look at our map. Where is she at? I 
that's just a vending machine. But where is Abigail? We have have we been over here? I don't know if we have or not. I don't think we have. All right, well, let's actually, let's head up this way first and see if maybe she's over there because I don't want to just divert the power without speaking to her. It doesn't seem right. I'm surprised it's not giving us a marker in that location. Oh, they dug under. Can we? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. I like it. And I've come out on the wrong side. I need to go over that way. Yeah, we need to go through here and around. Oh, the other side of the river. What's that? A riot control armor. Okay. Just laying out here in the middle of nowhere. A model spaceship. Must be some junk we can sell. So it looks like it's on this other side. See, maybe they're hiding out over on this area of the map. Yeah, have we? Oh, those things are so creepy. A leather boa, huh? Hey, that's impressive. Oh, thank you. Anyone here? I don't see anyone. Have we already been here? No, we haven't. Tom Mac and Cheese, yum. Take the ammo. I'd love to know what all the the story is behind all these just random houses out here. Yeah, we didn't, uh, I don't think we killed these people. I don't think this was us. So look like things we can pick up. All right, looks like that's all there is here. Wonder if there's anything in behind. Yeah, up that way. We, I'm pretty sure we were down there. Pretty sure that's where we uh, dealt with those other marauders. And this one's locked. I wonder if there's a way. Oh, we can get in it. Oh, you got that? Oh my goodness. Scorch Journal. After sneaking parts of the industrial sector for a couple of days, I think I finally have everything I need to build my own flying death machine. Closer inspection. I'm not entirely sure all these components will fit together properly. 
After uh, a few hours of experimentation, things are starting to come together, but I still don't have it down to the exact science. There's something wrong with the memory processing core that I can't seem to sort out. I removed it, whacked it with the wrench a few times, <laughs> and that seemed to stop the buzzing. Things seemed like they were working for a few seconds after I installed it again, but now there's a sharp clicking noise every few seconds. I'll try removing the processor core again before giving it a few more good whacks. That'll learn it. <laughs> okay, well... Apparently, things did not, uh, ooh, a plasma rifle works so well for him. All right. And we get our two mag locks back that, uh, we used to get in here. Nice. Ooh, great. Armor parts. That's totally worth it. Alrighty, well, let's move on here. Now, this is the area on the map I wanted to come to, right? No, not quite. So, still more ah, up the road here, maybe. Well, they have to be living out here somewhere, right? Ah, here we go, the Botanical Lab. We found it. Nice. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Oh, I'm not here to give you any trouble. I'm just here to talk. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm just looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Well, Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're going to start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Well, where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us got to make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Upbeat, a little strange, loves Rizzo. Yeah, I met Zoe. She's in a marauder camp down the road. Thank the Eternal. Wait, marauder camp? Is she alright? She says she's become one of them, calls herself the Queen of the Marauders. Queen of the Marauders, huh? That's what comes of watching serials. Rots your grave. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. I got a few questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Hmm, no, I can't imagine how you didn't get on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. Okay, well, let's change the subject. What is it? I'll leave you be. Alright, well, let's go grab Zoe. Before we go in and talk to Adelaide, she was just over this way. She didn't get very far. Can I switch that in our journal? A kindred spirit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's just right over here. Oh, well. Didn't see you guys coming. And apparently you're not going to ever see me coming. Oh, my. Uh-oh. There's another one. Is he hiding behind a tree? 
There we got him. Nice. Well, I think I picked that up. Hmm. Kill you. What are you guys just fighting among yourselves or something? Let's see. I think there were, yeah, a couple more bodies. And I thought there was one oh, right there. Yep. Hunting rifle, which we already have. I'll either sell it or break it down for parts. We're not hurting on parts right now. And we're not really hurting too much for money either. Yeah, we've already been through here. Oh no. Did you do that? I'm sure we were through here. Yeah, we were through here. Because things are open. Alright. Oh, no, not what I meant to do. Thank you. Uh, whoa, I didn't know I could do that. But, I, oh, if you hold it. Ah, I got it. Zoe, can I talk to you? Ah, there we go. What I wouldn't do for a Wentworth. Oh, well, I've been sent to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I can't imagine you're happy out here. Food's awful, the company's worse. And there's no serial dramas. And no serial dramas. I've been thinking about going back. I just gotta know if Lord Cavendish really is the masked marketeer. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Oh, nice. He's gonna be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Oh, you'll be fine. Nice. So we got her to go back. Very good. Let's head back and tell her the good news. I'm sure she will be ecstatic. Ooh, did we do you? I guess we did. I'm sure Grace is just going to be over the moon that we have got Zoe back. Grace, we did a good thing. What? I talked Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened anyway? She joined up with the Band of Marauders. They haven't heard her though. Zoe joined up with the Band of Marauders. Zoe, the same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Sure, thanks for all that XP too. I'll leave you be. Alright, well, looks like we need to head in and talk with Adelaide. And I think we will do that in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I hope I see you in the next one.